Welcome to the Comptroller of Maryland's Alcohol E-File Training for Wineries. Alcohol E-File is an easy and secure way to electronically file and store your alcoholic beverage tax returns. The application can be found at www.marylandtaxes.gov. Navigating to the application is easy. Simply select the link for business tax on the comptroller's homepage. Expand the file tab and scroll down to alcohol e-file. From the application homepage you can access several options from filing a new return, working on a return in progress and reviewing a prior electronically submitted return. You will also find additional links for making a payment and getting answers to questions related to alcoholic beverage tax. Select file or return to get started. Enter your previously created login username and password. If you have not yet registered, please select the register link in the left-hand column. Select the license type that you are prepared to file. Remember each license type has unique filing requirements. You will file separate returns for each license you have been granted. The application will present the appropriate tax form or forms for the license type you select. Licenses with fewer than 250,000 taxable gallons per period submit their tax returns quarterly. Carefully select the period you are filing as this cannot be edited once the return is in progress. Enter the license demographic information for this license. Once entered, the system displays a preview list of forms available to report the business activity. The return is now in progress. Click Begin to continue. Here is a view of Form 034-1 the schedule template used to report many business activities. Each schedule must be reported separately providing specific transaction details. Eliminate the paperwork by using e-file. The list of applicable schedules is displayed on the secondary forms page in e-file. Select only the schedules required for your business activity. Each schedule has a link for you to create and store a list of your business partners associated with the specific activity. You can add, modify, or delete entities from the lists at any time. E-File maintains your lists of consignees and consignors specific to each schedule for use with subsequent returns. The middle section of the list displays schedules related to finished product acquisition activity. Schedules D1, D2, D3, and D4 are to report receipts of finished product from authorized entities. Finished product refers to packaged alcoholic beverage products and are reported in standard U.S. gallons. Use these schedules to report movement of packaged wine into and within the state of Maryland. Report finished product received on premise from authorized entities during the reporting period. Select add slash modify next to the schedule type you are reporting. As a manufacturer you will have limited acquisition activity of finished products. To report acquisition activity, begin by selecting a consigner from your pre-populated list and click Add to enter the transaction details. This invoice template is used throughout the application to capture the transaction details for reporting. The invoice number is to uniquely identify the transaction in your records. Any combination of numeric, alpha, or special characters is accepted. The invoice date cannot be a future date. Enter the gallons in standard U.S. gallons for all finished product transactions. Click Add Invoice to save the transaction to the schedule. 
Continue adding invoices for this consigner as needed. Click Finish to return to the schedule and select a different consigner. Repeat steps to enter transactions for each consigner. The system displays the current schedule with total gallons by consigner. Click Finished when all transactions of this activity have been entered. This returns you to the main schedule page to select the next schedule. Scrolling down this page displays the schedules related to finished product disposition activity. Schedules E, F, G1, G2, G5 and G7 are to report dispositions to authorized entities. Schedules are separated by the type of entity receiving finished product from the licensee. Use Schedule E for shipments out of state. Schedule F is for reporting transfers to a Maryland licensed wholesaler. This includes transfers to your own W6 limited wholesaler license. The G1 schedule details any transfers to federal government entities and the G2 schedule covers non-beverage permit holders in Maryland. The G5 schedule is used for reporting dispositions that are not accounted for in the other disposition schedule descriptions. The G7 schedule is used to report activity from the tasting room and festival or special event participation. For G7 activities where the consumers are not individually identified, enter the winery license as the consignee. Select from the co-signee list for the chosen schedule. Use the invoice template to enter the details of the transaction for reporting. Remember the invoice number is to uniquely identify the transaction in your records. The invoice date cannot be a future date. Enter the gallons in standard US gallons for all finished product transactions. Click Add Invoice to save the transaction to the schedule. Continue adding invoices for this cosignee as needed. Click Finish to return to the schedule and select a different consignee. The Finished Adding Schedule button will return you to the main schedule page. This returns you to the main schedule page to select the next schedule. Scrolling down this page displays the schedules related to finished product disposition activity. The G7 schedule is used to report activity from tasting room and festival or special event participation. For G7 activities where the consumers are not individually identified, enter the winery license as the consignee. Select from the co-signee list for the chosen schedule. Use the invoice template to enter the details of the transaction for reporting. Remember the invoice number is to uniquely identify the transaction in your records. The invoice date cannot be a future date. Enter the gallons in standard US gallons for all finished product transactions. Click Add Invoice to save the transaction to the schedule. Each entered transaction is reflected under Current Invoices. Click Finished Adding Invoices to save transactions to the schedule. Select the next schedule needed to report your activity. Once you have completed all the schedules related to your activity, click Next. The Form 034-10 is for reporting samples distributed during the filing period. The paper form collects the information first as total gallons then restates the gallons by category of sample disposition. The electronic form captures the gallons and purpose slash reason in a single transaction. There are several generally used package sizes listed. You may create a custom package to fit your business needs. Once you have entered the unit size and count, this package size will be added to the list of available package sizes to report your sample quantities. The samples you distribute will fall into several categories. Select the purpose from the drop-down list and the corresponding reason, then enter the total quantity by pack size. Click Add to save the transaction. 
As you add each transaction, the gallons are summed and totaled for the form. Once you have entered all sample transactions click next to save the 034-10 sample schedule. The primary form 034 has various line items that are used to calculate the total gallons of alcoholic beverage product activity for the licensee during this reporting period. Here you will provide information related to physical inventory counts and transfers within the business processes. These entries account for product movement that is not detailed on the acquisitions and disposition schedules. Complete each line as it relates to your activity and click Next. The system will combine all the reported information and display a completed 034 form for your review. You can see each line item and the schedule totals have been added to each area. Below the primary for display, there is a convenient list of all the schedules for your review. If there are any discrepancies, simply select the link for previous and you can easily edit any information. Always use the application navigation buttons to return to previous pages or to advance forward. Navigate to the schedules and make any necessary correction to the reported information. Return to review return by clicking next to advance the application. Any modifications will be reflected in the primary form review. Once you are satisfied with the accuracy of the return details, click submit. You will receive a confirmation screen with a confirmation number for your records. Your tax return has been filed. Navigate to the B Services homepage to locate the link to make your alcoholic beverage tax payment. Simply follow the instructions in the application. This easy and secure method will ensure timely credit to your license account. Thank you for watching the Alcohol e-file tutorial.